So right now I'm going through my part stuff and I'm cleaning out old circuit boards. I'm salvaging what's good. Um, like transformers or transistors or integrated circuits. I'm not keeping capacitors or resistors or something like that. Uh, sometimes I might keep the connectors. Um, well, the transistors and uh, transformers uh, and integrated circuits, they really don't age um, in my opinion. So I keep those, like of course capacitors, they age, so I throw them out. And this, for example, this came out of a a boom box, a ghetto blaster, and you can see here it's a um, step down transformer. Step down means, of course, uh, the voltage on the primary side here is going to be higher than the voltage on the secondary. Of course, if it's a step a step up transformer, it would be the opposite. The voltage on the um, secondary would be higher than the voltage coming into the primary. And of course, if if the um, if a transformer has the same number of primary and secondary turns, then it is a, of course, it's a one-to-one -one, um, transformer. So what I'm going to do here, just as an example, I'm just going to try to figure out um, what the turns, what the turns ratio is, um, which can't be done by measuring, for example, the the resistance say if I measure the resistance on the primary side and the resistance on the secondary side that's not going to work although some people do think that'll uh, do do think that'll give you the turns ratio but that alone that won't you can already tell by the different thicknesses of the wire I means they're going to have a different um, it's going to have a different um, uh, resistance and so that's not an approach you can take And when I mean turns ratio, that's simply um, how many turns um, of the on the windings are there in the in one winding compared to the turns in the other winding. So in this case, how many turns would the primary have is compared to the secondary. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and try to hook up a. Um, audio generator to this um, I best to use one with the higher output and then I will go ahead since this is a line transformer I'm going to go ahead and feed in a um, line frequency uh, you can feed in 60 50 Hertz whatever and um, basically then I'm going to go ahead and um, yeah figure this out this transformer I already know it's going to be set up for 110 to 12 volts or I think it's 220 to um, 12 volts I would already know the turns ratio then say if it was you know I would just have to take the 110 divided by 12 and that would give me the turns ratio for example but I'm just gonna act like I don't know and see if I can figure out uh, figure it out this way so also I might have to add when I say turns ratio I don't mean the impedance ratio which um, I think that is determined by the square of the turns ratio not by the actual turns ratio so for example if I had a turns ratio of 10 to 1 from the primary to the secondary then the impedance, the impedance would be 100 to 1 because if it's a square of the turns ratio uh, which would be 10 then um, if I take the square, that's 100. And as another example, say if we had a turns ratio of 20 to 1, that would mean an impedance ratio of 400, um, basically, to 1. Because if we would take the 20, we would square that. That would give us the um, the impedance ratio right there. Um, yeah, I think that's right. Um, so anyways, let me go ahead and get uh, set up. So we're now going to try this out here. Um, I'm using this old leader audio generator. I'm going to put it on max because I don't know if, it, if you max I think is here is 5 volts RMS and um, since this is a line transformer here I don't know if this is going to work. I might have to go ahead and uh, double the voltage. So you just put it on whatever frequency 50 60 Hertz this, again this is a line transformer I got this on maximum I know this is round this was around 
uh, 5 volts RMS, could be 4.8, 4.9, who knows. Yeah, this is all just ballpark anyways. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and feed that into here. And then the meter is already hooked up here. And of course the meter's on AC. And let's see what we get. We get 317 millivolts. RMS is basically unloaded. Um, this transfer, I think I said it was 12 volts, but it could be 9. It, I think it's... I think this is a 9 volt um, transformer. So now to do the math, then let's say if this was, um, of course the, I could also just, you simply can figure out the, um, the turns ratio just by measuring the voltages on either side, on the primary and the secondary. So if, for example, if I knew the primary was 100 volts and secondary is coming out 10 volts of course the turns ratio is 10 to 1 so um, now feeding in 5 volts I'm going to use my calculator here um, 5 volts RMS around uh, there and I divide that by um, 0.317 divided by 0.317 0.317 equals a turns ratio of 15.77 which I don't think is not quite right so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and either I'm going to use an audio generator I can put out more or I'm going to go ahead and hook it to my variable uh, isolation transformer and just try to feed in 10 volts that way and then see if that makes any difference in the reading. So again now with these audio generator deals, um, you'd, of course you'd have to set it to the your line frequency 50, 60 hertz, whatever it is. But okay, I'm go, gonna go ahead and use the variable isolation transformer now. I've got it um, hooked up here. And then um, I am expecting then, let's see, did I say 9? It was 9 volts, so if you fit in 110 volts, and then you divide it by, that by 9, you would get the turns ratio, so the turns ratio would be 12.22. Um, so, I should be getting something similar. Let me go ahead and run this thing up to 10 volts. Again, I'm going to run it up to, uh, I'm way over 10 volts. I'm at 20 now. Okay. Here we go. I'm about um, 10 volts right there. It's a little bit hard to set it. And I'm getting ballpark 0.865. Now I can divide the 10 by this 0.865 and... I think I said it should, the turns ratio was if around 12, 12, 12 12.2, something like that. So take the 10 and then I divide that by 0.864 equals a turns ratio of 11.57, which is getting a lot better now. It's pretty close. That's, that's what we're looking for. So I guess... You couldn't use um, audio generator like this because it simply doesn't put out enough uh, voltage. So I'm going to go ahead and run this thing up now to um, 110 volts. And then what I said should still hold true. Um, if this is in fact a 9 volt um, second, if this transformer does in fact have a 9 volt secondary, um, it's runner up now.
rather I should say 120 volts. So getting close to the 120 volts and I'm at um, 8.8 .8. so therefore I would say I I am correct this this method could be used for whatever reasons to figure out the turns ratio but normally um, you would already know since this is a line transformer okay um, it's hooked up to 110 or 2 um, excuse me 120 or 230 mains and um, you can kinda you already know basically what to expect so basically really I just compare the voltage into the voltage out here's voltage primary voltage secondary and here's the in which means turns turns primary turns secondary so I'm feeding in 10 um, volts AC uh, RMS I think the transformers are going to be rated at RMS they're not, they're not going to have say if you bought one it says uh, whatever 120 primary in uh, 6 volts out that's not peak to peak that's going to be RMS um, so if I took point was it point 0.8 let's just say point 0.8 it was fluctuating a little bit point 0.8 8 5 something like that and do the math real quick without it getting boring 10 divided by 0 0.885 um, it's 11 equals 11.29 So yeah, that's basically pretty close to 12, well, kind of ballpark. So um, again, I'm going to do that again with it running up to 120 volts. Where do we go now? Back up. Here's the output so that would be then 120 divided by 8.86 8 down here 120 divided by 8.86 that'd be 13.5 so yeah I, I think this method could be used to, but I think what I'm going to do now is I can go ahead and measure the 10 volts since I'm just reading what's on my variable isolation transformer and I don't think that's um, that's going to be that's too exact to see what's actually coming out that's going to give me a much better um, indicator and here it says right here it's actually 12.25 volts so that might explain the discrepancy here. Let me bring it down down to around 10 volts. And now let's do this test again. So plug this into there. And let me hook up the test leads again. Now we'll see what's going on. So now it's 10 volts. That then is leading me astray. Oh, that is the wrong one. This one here. So now let's see what we get. Now we get point. 722 and your 10 volts coming in so do this again um, I don't need to write all this out again I 
because I know turns ratio is going to be basically the voltage of the primary divided by the secondary that's going to go ahead and give me the turns ratio so that was 10 volts this time pretty accurate and now it's 0.72 now let's see how we look now okay wish I knew how to use these calculators better so 10 divided by 0.72 now that's 13 point 13.88 well I think I really don't have anything else to add except that if you want to replicate this test I think you would have to measure the voltage of your source um, here the prime what's coming into the primary side not secondary of course and that it's going to be an AC voltage um, you know whether it's a variable isolation transformer, variac, or audio generator, your voltmeter's got to be hooked up to that, and that way you'll get a accurate re accurate reading. I think I was somewhat thrown off uh, initially because the meter on my variable isolation transformer seems to be not very exact, so that gave me the wrong ratio. But in the end, um, I think I got it. Uh, well, I was a lot more accurate than at the beginning, but, uh, put, to, put it that way to you. So anyways, thanks for watching. Um, I realize people don't, or probably not going to have to ever do this kind of test, but it, at least for me, it, it, I've, I've did it before, uh, but it's really been a while, and uh, it's probably not of much use or interest to people, but it's, it's good to actually go through the motions of... Uh, learning this stuff so um again thanks for watching